Well, how do you do again? This is uh, Mike McGee, your Blu-ray and DVD physical media movie review. And we're here to open up two packages of movies. Right, two packages of movies right in a couple of minutes. Now let's open up the package and see what we got. Let's see now. Yay! Yay! The Blu-ray DVD version of the Rotted Night of the Living Dead. The Blu-ray DVD version of the Rotted Night of the Living Dead, if you can see this. With Laura Gesmer, George Eastman, and Mark Shannon. This is my Blu-ray upgrades of the original DVD versions, if you can see this. And, uh, and, uh, special features, brand new 2018 scan, brand new on-camera interview with star Mark Shannon, alternate floor footage, and Laura Gesmer, as she was a manual fame. And um, let's give it more of a close-up to make sure you see it clearly. Yeah. And uh, you can see the back. And it reads, ooh, the light's gone there. It reads, okay, now the first thing we're going to do is open up this package because it makes a darn reflection, and i got to read it. It has to reflect for the camera bit. Now we will read it. Okay. A hotel developer purchased a cursed tropical island where he plans to erect a luxurious resort arriving on the godforsaken island in his finds opposition with with a finds opposition in the worn infested flesh eating walking corpses as they begin to rise from the graves exotic Laura Gesmer black Emmanuel Emmanuel and the Last Cannibals, Violence in a Woman, in Woman's Prison, plus a sexy, also starring cult icon George Eastman, Hands of a Steel, Hands of Steel after the fall of New York, New York, Iron Master. And the one and only Mark Shannon, Porno Holocaust, among the uh, rare, among, among the rarest of all the zombie cannibal sex films, this Joe Diamato masterworks is chock full of gore, ethics, uh, steamy, and graphic eroticism in an apocalyptic cannibal zombie flesh feast that you won't forget. It's there. There's no cover at all. There's a there's a thing. There's a disc. It's the it's Blu-ray and there's no cover switch over. Now we're gonna open the second box. Here's the second box.
Okay. Here it is. Porno Holocaust. Yay! Porno Holocaust. Now we're going to take off the box cover. Let me take off the plastic so it'll focus better. Here it is, Porno Holocaust on Blu-ray, another upgrade. Another oh, here's the opening of it. Let's see what it has. Yep, here's the um here's the uh, DVD advertise here's a Blu-ray advertisement. It has no switch over neither. Now we'll uh, see the picture and I'll review it afterwards. Now, I'm going to review both of these films one at a time after I just seen them. Joe D'Amato was one of the top quality adult hardcore porn filmmakers. Uh, he was known for the, for the quality of his productions. Sometimes he'd make hardcore porn takeoffs of family films. Back in the 90s, he did a, a, a takeoff of the historian Marco Polo. Porno Holocaust is a horror movie that deals with the effects of radiation on an island after the bomb was dropped in 1959. And it stars both, uh, it stars Italian porn actors as well as some mainstream ones. The production was produced in the same island that Erotic Night of the Living Dead was uh, made. George Eastman, in which I suspect that's not his real name, is the mainstream actor. Dursi Fanari portrays a scientist. Ange Gorin portrays the horny Contessa who makes a living as a scientist as a hobby. Lucia Ramirez plays her best friend and lesbian partner for whom the Countess attempts to take with her uh, uh, Lucia to her sexual advent to uh, the Countess's sexual adventures. Non-sex actor George Dubryan portrays Professor Keller the husband of uh, Lucia Ramirez, who has an erection problem. Porn actor Mark Shannon plays a captain of the boat that he rents a science that he rents uh, uh, rents to the that uh, he uh, that the scientists rent from him to go to the island to to check the radiation. There's even a reporter by the name of Ben Wah who wants to know what's going on. The scientists um, are going to the island to test the, the effects of radiation since 1959. There is a madman who lives on that island who's been deformed because he and his parents didn't have enough time to leave. And this, and, th and that he is the monster. Is there horror in this film? Of course there's horror. Uh, Mark Shannon and Dursi Fanari. Mark Shannon is about six feet, I think, and Dursi's five foot two. Every time they have sex with each other, it's so awkward looking. From the beach to the uh, from the beach to the to the island that they're checking, to to the little boat that uh, to the little boat right before their rescue when they're doing the doggy position, it is so awkward that is that is totally horror. Is there gore? Yes, there is gore, but you can't take it seriously. It's so cheap looking. For example, when the monster kills George Eastman with a huge rock boulder, the blood looks exactly like leftover tomato sauce from the cruise lunch. Poor Lucia meets her demise 
when the monster kills her by choking her to death with his penis, which looks like a raw potato. And uh, the contest meets her bad demise when he knocks her down to death and proceeds with a missionary position with a dead body. There are some moderately hot sex scenes in this film. For example, the, the scene between uh, Ramirez and Anne in uh, lesbian scenes in the in in a bedroom and uh, in the beach. And the scene where uh, the Countess goes to a bordello where she has two dark-skinned men engage in a three-way with her. Except, uh, they're a bunch of sex workers, except that one of them has a slight erection problem. Now, uh, this movie is in, it has Italian language, and uh, it has subtitles, and a George Yes, it has a George Eastman review, an interview. Erotic Night of the Living Dead is Joe D'Amato's takeoff of the Night of the Living Dead. It stars Laura Gesmer, who plays the witch Luna, who can turn into a cat. And Mark Shannon portrays an asshole uh, businessman who's trying to buy off this old, this island that's died in which the, there used to be a fisher's island that died in which the people had died from a mysterious disease that causes zombieism. Dursi Frenari shows up but in a small scene as a uh, mistress of a wealthy man who rented George Eastman's boat. Now George Eastman is running a boat in this movie. Now there's only one hardcore sex scene in this film between Mark Shannon and two nameless porn actors portraying sex workers, which starts out in the shower and ends up in the bed in oral and penetration. The rest of the sex scenes between uh, George Eastman and Dursey, and then uh, Mark Shannon and Lucille Ramirez, he, she shows up again, is basically simulated. In the gambling entertainment room, there is a specialty dance in which this woman ends up sitting on top of a champagne bottle and lets it explode inside her body. Now the horror of this movie is that there's just a lot of zombies out there. In the beginning near the boat area, a zombie shows up and they end up killing him. And then as the doctor checks them, it's getting late at night and everybody has to put a candle to protect the zombies, but it doesn't work so, because one of the zombies shows up and grabs the doctor and bites his neck off. I'd have to say that the effects are very cheap too. Luna and her father are the only ones who live on an island. They do something to stop this asshole from turning their island into a tourist trap. They get all their zombies to rise up, who used to be the fisher people, to scare the hell out of out of out of the, out of uh, 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 Lucia and uh, Lucia and Mark Shannon and George Eastman. In fact, she uh, Laura Gesmer tricks Mark Shannon. Uh, to stop them uh, to get together for a night tryst and she ends up surprising him by biting his penis off. Thus, the zombies jump all over him to feast him over his stomach innards, turning him into a zombie. And uh, Lucia Ramirez and uh, uh, George Eastman has to constantly fight these zombies and when they finally uh, stop them they both become mentally insane and uh, end up in a mental institution. Nobody believes what happened to them. They thought they murdered all those people themselves. Now this, now I have to say that I'd have to say that um, both of these pictures are very entertaining.
and I've enjoyed the DVD version. I certainly enjoyed the uh, this Blu-ray versions, and as much it has some cheap effects compared to the hardcore porn films that are made these days in which the budgets are a lot lower these are rare horror hardcore are the best of the past mind you if you're a hardcore porn fan and don't enjoy gore or violence don't buy this or don't see this but if you're a fan of movies that can compete with Hollywood these are the best. Now, if you did like uh, the, my review, which was not all that perfect, please like and subscribe. And uh, happy Halloween, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.